Okay. Aren't you concerned that what you read in the Telegraph, though, in common with a lot of other papers, is largely, especially on the front page, propaganda? You know, the reason that story is there because there is because there's vested interests involved in it. It's the University of Reading, uh, I suppose. I mean, it's different. Are you not you don't suspicious who, of everything that's in the well, papers? No, as a journalist, I hope that one of our roles is actually to get information out there. So, no, I'm not a cynical about form. that. God, but, I yes, am. all papers <laughs> are slanted from a different uh, yeah. perspective. And at this just point before the election, hugely slanted. Yes. To the point yeah. of yes. downright lies. It's quite, it's quite interesting because right. television, we are extremely regulated yeah. uh, with, the with regards yes. to politics. Yeah. So we have to treat all the political parties fairly yeah. uh, over the period of the election. Yes. And yeah. it is interesting that the, the printed journalists, they, they campaign for freedom of speech. And actually, mm -hmm. that what they mean by freedom of speech is the freedom to carry out their multi-millionaire owner's will, yes. which is often a politically Appalling, yes. you know, yes. perverting democracy, really. I hate it. I find what we see in the papers now absolutely disgusting. It's all propaganda. But just you so can't you know, believe a we word do of treat, it. We try to treat I all stories do. with suspicion here. All stories. degree of scepticism. Yeah. yeah. Good for you. Thank you. That's why you're great. Thank you. Yeah. That's what, <laughs> As well as... <laughs> now, you will make me blush. Come on, Larry. As, as well as beautifully <laughs> suntanned and fit. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you've yeah. been away in the yeah, yeah, yeah. beautiful desert islands. <laughs> we um, hate you, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, what else?